Okay, our first set of unique properties of water are cohesion and adhesion. So co cohesion is a force of attraction between molecules. And when you're talking about cohesion, like co-worker, cohabitate, you're talking about same or share <coughs> or similar. So with cohesion, we're talking about water to water. So water molecules are attracted to other water molecules. And then adhesion, water, which is polar, is going to be attracted to other molecules that are polar. So adhesion is water to water, and cohesion is water to water, and adhesion is water to anything else. Um, that's polar. So the biological importance of cohesion and adhesion. So cohesion probably uh, we could think about it as causing or being the force of attraction behind something called surface tension. Water has a high surface tension and what this means is that water forms kind of a skin uh, on its surface and what this uh, allows it allows for some organisms to move on top of the water and you'll see more about this later on um, during uh, um, a little virtual lab setup I've, I've made for you but um, water holds together and provides a surface for certain animals to be able to walk upon it. Now, not every animal can do this. Um, it has to do uh, with weight distribution, as you could see here with these water striders. Um, and you've probably seen them skipping along ponds or uh, maybe even big mud puddles. Um, and it can also have to do with speed as well. Um, the other thing that we see with surface tension is uh, that water holds itself together uh, in a column during capillary action in, in plants. So you can see these different uh, depictions here of surface tension. So at the bottom right there, we can see all of these water molecules stacked up together. Um, and this is something that uh, I heard recently on uh, the news when, I when they were talking about shooting down this uh, balloon over South Carolina, over the waters there um, off Surfside Beach in South Carolina. And they were talking about how high it was in the air and that it was going to be coming down and hitting straight on this water, which is like slamming straight into a concrete wall because of how the water molecules bind together with these hydrogen bonds. So they were expecting it to break up and didn't know what kind of evidence that they would get from it. Same thing that happens when people go bungee jumping and the cord breaks and then the people break um, arms and legs and whatever else. Uh, but you can see these water striders and you can also see this spider up there, which is like the stuff of nightmares. It looks like he's sitting on top of a, a trash bag, but it really is just denting in the surface of this water. Mm -hmm. The second thing is capillary action and transpiration. So capillary action, I like to call it caterpillar action because that's what's happening with the water. It's, it's inching upwards and it's inching upwards uh, into uh, plants by way of their vascular system. So earlier we looked at the vascular system of uh, plants by looking at a cross section of a leaf. We color coded it. And inside of it, there was this vein, this vascular bundle. And one part of it, the top part of it was the xylem, and then another part of it was called the phloem. So the xylem is the part that transports the water from the roots up to the leaves for photosynthesis. The phloem is for carrying the products of photosynthesis throughout the plant. So uh, transpiration is the evaporation of water from the leaves of plants. So as the water evaporates from the leaves, then more of it is pulled upward through the xylem. And you can see on the diagram there to the right of the cohesion and the adhesion. 
So the cohesion is the water to water maintaining its structure as it's being pulled upward uh, through the xylem as the water evaporates from the top. So it's this kind of constant flow from the roots up to the leaves um, <coughs> by way of capillary action. Now something else to notice with the capillary action, <coughs> sorry, is that the adhesion <coughs> is actually greater than the cohesion. So you end up seeing a little bit of a curve. This curve is called a meniscus. <coughs> so in reading liquid volume in a graduated cylinder, you read from the bottom of the meniscus, not at the top. 